guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up every single one of the Series 2 LEGO Harry Potter collectible minifigures, and I'll be sharing with you all some tips and tricks to make sure that you get the figures that you want. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing I feel for when I hold a CMF blind bag are the accessories. Now, it seems here that we have a little book cover, which means one thing. This has to be Harry Potter. And if I feel a little more, I'm pretty sure I can feel out the little 1x2 tile. And now, I feel the 1x2 tile piece after feeling for it for quite some time. This, I have a feeling it's Harry Potter because A, I felt the back of the book, the front of the book, the hair piece, and yeah. And also the tile that goes inside of the book. And it can't be Moaning Myrtle because the hair just isn't hers. See if I'm right. I'm gonna be using my trusty scissors here. And yes, it seems as though I am correct, <laughs> which feels good. Now this hairy figure looks absolutely incredible. It looks much better in real life than it does in the photos. And the little advanced potions piece. Now this is what I'm talking about. That looks absolutely incredible. I can read Septum Sempera on there. That's so cool. To recap, I felt for the accessory, which was the book, the back and the front. And then I also felt for the tile inside, which was a one by two tile. And yeah, that's pretty much what I felt for because, you know, he doesn't have that many accessories. And it looks like as I was feeling through the bag, the wand piece kind of like broke. But regardless, we have his wand there. And let's move on so this video doesn't last forever. <laughs> The next bag that we have here, okay, so the first thing I want to do for again is the leg piece. And interestingly enough, in this blind bag, there is no leg piece. There is a dress piece. And as I continue to feel through the bag, I feel a hair piece. I feel a hair piece. This here is Professor Sprout. You know why? Because I can feel her pointed little hat there pointing upwards and she has a dress piece there. And yes, I feel the little cylinder piece there as well. This here, I can feel the pink piece right there. It's like this little three petal flower. So yeah, this here is Professor Sprout. So we have ourselves Professor Sprout. I guess you guys can trust me at this point. <laughs> So we're gonna pop on the Professor Sprout piece there and her little mandrake accessory. And we have a little pot there. So she comes with two of these petal pieces. Again, feel for the hair piece because that hair piece is super unique and easy to find, especially because of the pointed hat. And then feel for the mandrake and the pot and the flowers. And <laughs> one thing that will help you a lot in your hunt is feeling for the leg piece. If you feel a dress piece, you have three choices, Bellatrix, Dumbledore, or Professor Sprout, which nails things down quite a bit. And then the others, you just have to feel for the accessories and so on. So yeah, this is Professor Sprout. Now for the next bag, I feel a dress piece, which again, nails our options down quite a bit. I feel the large hair piece for Dumbledore. I know this is Dumbledore. You can feel his pointed little hat there and the beard. And the hair. And you can also put Fox. There we go, there's Fox. This here is Dumbledore. So open it up and make sure that I am indeed correct. Yep, it is Dumbledore, all right. After I felt for the dress piece, I then felt for the hair piece just to confirm that he is indeed Dumbledore because I felt for this beautiful Phoenix right here, Fox. Perfect. This looks absolutely epic. He looks so cool. Moving on to the next bag. Okay, so again, I'm going to be feeling for the lucky. This is one of the Weasley twins for sure. I can feel his little pom pom there on his hat. And as I continue to feel through the bag, the Marauder's Mask is like a square tile piece. And there we go, I found it. That there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Marauder's Mask. We have ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, a George Weasley. I'm almost 99% sure that Marauder's Mask confirmed it for me. Good. Yep, and I was correct. There we go. We have ourselves George Weasley. I confirmed that it was him because of that Marauder's Map. That's the only square tile that we get. 
And the hairpiece is really adorable, looking awesome. That's like the main difference between Fred and George. But Fred actually has a case, which we're gonna be looking at once I find him. So yeah, awesome. Moving on, we have the other bag. The hair here feels kind of frizzy. I know who this is. This here is Hermione Granger. I can feel the little butterbeer cup there and her hairpiece. And that's all the confirmation I need to know that this is indeed Hermione Granger. Yep, <laughs> we have Half-Blood Prince Hermione, looking awesome. She looks absolutely incredible. And again, the two, the two confirming factors of this figure is the hairpiece and the butterbeer cup. After I felt for those two, I was 100% sure it was her. And yeah, I made sure it was her by feeling the hairpiece and the butterbeer cup. I'm 100% sure that this bag right here is indeed Kingsley Shacklebolt. And I can confirm that because I can feel the plastic where his cape is actually covered in. And I can feel his little hat there, which just confirms it. And again, the confirming accessory for him is his rather large broomstick right there. Found along the back, so I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> I'm right again. But it looks like that cape wasn't actually in a bag. <laughs> Whoops. Just feel for that bag because I believe he is one of the only figures with one. You can't really feel for the cape, I guess, but again, just feel for the broomstick. Feel for the broomstick. He's the only figure from this series who has a broomstick, which is why it is, again, his defining feature. And if you want to make sure, like triple check, feel for that little hat right there. Awesome. Now, the next bag here is pretty, pretty unique. I can feel that hair piece right there. And I can feel baby Harry. This must mean one thing. This here is Lily Potter. Baby Harry is right there. That's pretty much the only thing you need to feel for to make sure that you have her. And yes, I am indeed correct. We have baby Harry. Aw, baby Harry looks super adorable. <laughs> and we have her wand, which I'm not gonna bother putting on because we need to move on. <laughs> the next bag we have here is a pretty, pretty thick one. Feels pretty fluffy. I'm assuming it's not fluffy, that's in here. This here, my friends, is Fred Weasley. <laughs> Fred Weasley, I can feel his little pom-pom hat there. I feel the little tiles. You should definitely feel for those tiles just to confirm that it's him. I can feel the little tiles in the corner there. Again, this here is like a one-by-one -one square tile. And yeah, I am sure that this here is indeed our friend, Fred Weasley. There we go. And again, he looks like his twin. I mean, naturally they are twins, but the defining feature of him are these little tile pieces, these one by one tiles. And again, just to make sure that you have them, feel for the suitcase. You have to feel for that little flat piece there and the bag. If you wanna find Fred Weasley, feel for four of these little one by one tiles and feel for the suitcase. Other than that, you might get confused between Fred and George and I wouldn't want that to happen to you. <laughs> the next bag that we have here Seems rather thin. Okay, this is Neville Longbottom, and I can confirm that because of that little slope piece right there. The Monster Book of Monsters is the only book from the series that has that little one by two slope piece. Yep, and I was correct. Good. So, he also has mid legs in case if you wanna triple check that it is him. Yep, we have his little one there, and yep, we have Neville Longbottom. We're almost coming to an end. Now, the next bag here, a little bit feel for the defining features. Okay, we have Ron Weasley. And I know that this is Ron because I can feel the butterbeer cup and his um, wavy hair. And we have Mr. Ronald Weasley. How cool is that? I love the smell of fresh plastic. <laughs> I don't wanna make this video so long, so I'm just gonna hurry up and Wrap up again, you need to feel for that hairpiece and that little butterbeer cup right there. Two defining features of Ronald Weasley. Moving on to the next bag. Can't wait to feel for Belfast. 
Okay, what do you know? Okay guys, that was not scripted. I was like, I can't wait to feel for Bellatrix. And then the minute I held this bag, I knew it was Bellatrix. That is so funny. Okay, you, probably, you guys probably don't believe me, but I know this is Bellatrix. Gut feeling, trust me. I would know, okay? I know this is Bellatrix. I'm a million percent sure. And my gut feeling is correct. How cool is that? My absolute favorite character from the series. Awesome. We have her Azkaban sign there, her amazing hairpiece, and her handcuffs. I mean, she's not in prison anymore, so she doesn't have to put them on. So she looks absolutely incredible. The thing you have to feel for to find her, as easily as I did, is that hairpiece. That hairpiece is unique and wild. And we have a one by two tile right there that says Azkaban Prison with her prison number. And I think that's also another defining feature you have to feel for. Feel for the hair piece, feel for the dress piece, and then feel for that tile. And then once you feel for those three things, you can just confirm that you have her by feeling for those two handcuffs right there. And there you go, the best figure out of this wave. Now for this next bag, I'm going to do some feeling. And I can feel an ice cream. I can feel a little ice cream right there. So I know that this is Ginny Weezy. And her hair right there is pretty unique. It has a red piece there. So let's open it up and confirm that I am correct. Yep, and what do you know? The instructions come out like that. We have ourselves Ginny Weasley. To find her, I felt for the hair, which was a toughie. We have the little ice cream right there and the ice cream sundae cup. <laughs> it looks so cool. And yeah, feel for those three elements and you're definitely gonna get yourself a Ginny Weasley. I feel James Potter because of that scarf piece right there. Feel for that scarf, guys. It may feel like a beard, but it's not one. It, it has a little thing so you can put it on the neck, but it's not a beard. It is James Potter's scarf. You can confirm by feeling his little hair piece right there, which is quite similar to Harry Potter's. And yeah, we have ourselves a James Potter. You could have felt for that little family portrait, but I decided to make things hard for myself. So, so yeah. And we have ourselves James Potter. His wands are in the background. I'm not gonna bother assembling wands right now. So we have the hair piece, which is a defining feature, but feel for the scarf first, because I guarantee if you feel for that scarf, you will get it. And just to make sure that you are right, feel for that portrait right there, which is actually a rectangle tile, not the square that we got from George Weasley. So feel for that rectangle piece and you will get it. Next, we have a little duck. It's an intense feeling right there. Okay, this is Grip Hook, and I know because I can feel that sword of Gryffindor. And just to confirm, I'm going to feel it for the short leg piece. Yep, and he has the short leg piece. He is the only minifigure from this series that has a short leg piece. Not a mid-leg, but a completely short one. Let's crack it open and confirm that I am correct. Okay, let's assemble him real quick. So, the short leg piece, feel for that first, and then you're almost guaranteed to get him because he's the only one who has a short leg piece. Then his goblin face right there. Doesn't look too happy. And then we have his hair piece, which is what I spoke about earlier. And of course, the beautiful sword of Gryffindor piece right there, which looks remarkable. Feel for that? It's a bit bendy, like it's a bit bendy. So if you feel something bendy in a package that's long and pointy, it's Grip Hook with the sword of Gryffindor and the key set too. And yeah, we have ourselves a grip hook. Next, we are almost done, only two more bags left. So, I'm going to feel, feel through this just a little bit. And I feel a one by two tile. And I feel a moaning myrtle. Woo! Okay, we have a moaning myrtle in here. I can feel that hair piece with her pigtails. And I can also feel that little, the little one by two stand she's on with the stud in the center. You can feel that too. Huge giveaway. This is indeed Moaning Myrtle. Okay, perfect. Yay, we have ourselves a Moaning Myrtle. One of the coolest figures from this line. Okay, and we're gonna just put her on her little display piece. You can also feel for this rather unique piece there that is meant to display her as if she is a ghost because she is indeed a ghost, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so yeah, feel for the diary. 
to go for the one by two piece inside of the diary. That's pretty common, so I guess you shouldn't feel for that right away, but feel for those pigtails. That will be the biggest giveaway for you. If you're ever confused, feel for that little piece there. And what made me confirm that it was her when I was at the store was that one by two tile right there. And last, but certainly not least, the final figure. I wonder who this is. Let's feel it once, feel it twice. It is Luna Lovegood. I can feel her lion head hat right there. And her alternate hair piece. Okay, I am correct. Feel for these two guys, and you will definitely get Luna Lovegood. She doesn't have any other accessories other than her wand. So yeah, there you go, Luna Lovegood. Well guys, that pretty much brings a wrap to today's feel guide video. I hope you guys did indeed enjoy it as I did making it and actually hunting for the figures. I love that process and I'm really happy with my work here because I found all 16 of them on my first try without any duplicates, which is pretty cool. I mean, I really enjoyed finding these figs and I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial slash feel guide. As always, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.